we really didn't spend too much time working on the bike in the first semester of, of this year, uh, which pretty much led to the demise of this year's bike. Had we started earlier, we could have gotten much more work done. Um, we assumed it would be really easy, as I said before, so that's how things went. We, when we pulled the mold off, or the part off of the mold, we found that there was an inherent design flaw in it. We didn't add any ribbing to it, which would have increased the structural stability. So we spent the, about two weeks trying to come up with a solution and, and throw it together really fast, and in the end, we just ran out of time. So here's the actual <laughs> car vehicle that goes inside wow. of the fairing. Right now they're doing the finishing touches. They're trying to figure out a problem with steering vibration that we have right now. It gets really unstable at about 30 miles an hour. And they're trying to put a damper on it to get rid of the vibration. Um, we had to go with last year's bike. I lost the chain though. How you did? I lost the chain somewhere. First day was insane. I, you go there expecting one thing and you see something completely different. We were racing for the top speed that day, so we set everybody line up all their different bikes, and you take turns racing down this runway, this aircraft runway, and um, the judges would take your time and they'd count like everybody's time up and see who got the fastest. Our first girl rider. I'm not going to say who it is. She rode 14 miles an hour the entire way down in one gear. I don't think she knew that she could shift. That was interesting. So uh, that wasn't expected. And, um, you know, the guy that we thought was going to pull ahead and win us the uh, fastest time turned out to be not so much faster than everybody else on the team. And so we were all, all the male riders in general were around the same time and the female riders we had this dark horse Colleen come in and she kicked some ass for us. For the utility race uh, our chain broke about three-fourths of the way through so it took too long for us to fix the chain and we just had to forfeit the utility race and then later that night we bought new chain for our bike and um, we thought we put it on. myself a little bit too hard the day before. It was either that or the bike was too small for me because I only got two laps in before I got a cramp and had to call it quits. That made a few people upset. For the endurance part, we were on on our last lap and we were fourth place I believe and our chain broke and we couldn't finish the last lap and so we also had to forfeit the last part um, of the competition. We would have had 22 laps. Yeah, we would have had 22 laps. For HPV, I learned how to work with, as on a team, as on an engineering team, and I also learned that people, you have to respect people for their ideas, even if they're not the greatest. <laughs> 